At first glance, this seems like a normal, if rather empty, warehouse. But look closer at this facility on the outskirts of Delhi, and you'll see something is missing. Our focus right now is around autonomous, self-driving vehicles. Anuj Kapuria is founder and CEO of High Tech Robotic Systems. Earlier this year, the company showed off what it called the first driverless shuttle made in India. The Novus Drive uses sensors and software to navigate and avoid obstacles in its path. The same technology can be applied to other existing vehicles to make them autonomous. Transportation and people movement and goods movement is, is really a core need for humans to progress. The automotive as we know it has been around for more than 100 years and really it hasn't changed and now we're in a position where it can be redefined and reimagined and that's really our excitement and passion about being in this, this domain specifically. Some analysts say the robotics industry could be worth more than $135 billion by 2019. But the World Bank warns that nearly 70% of India's jobs are at risk because of automation. The head of robotics and research at the ASET Institute in Delhi says robots will also create new opportunities. To make these robots, to maintain these robots, we need people, a lot of people, way more than what we have right now. And for that, we need to train our new generation that is coming in. Devaka Vash developed what he describes as India's first 3D printed humanoid robot. He unveiled Manav in 2015 and is now working on a larger version. Vash said he felt the need to make low-cost research robots after finding a hefty price tag on other options in the market. If we uh, are finding it a problem to actually get a robot that expensive, the people here in India, uh, they might not have access to that kind of robot. Our talent over here, the young students in the colleges and in the schools, they might not have access to that kind of robot, which is very necessary uh, for, their, for their learning process. Vash won't say how many he's sold, but he says he is preparing for thousands of orders. In addition to humanoid robots, Vash also works on healthcare applications. He's created a wheelchair controlled by brainwaves for paralysed patients and is preparing to launch a low-cost prosthetic hand. Vash plans to move into a new facility in 2017, where he hopes to mass-produce his robots. And I see a lot of opportunities for making robots for the, for the entire world and not only for a specific country. So I think uh, the whole of the thing, the crux of the thing is that we need to work together to bring in uh, a very huge technological change that will completely transform the world.